All right, welcome back guys. So today we're gonna to be doing uh, oil change on a 2024 KTM 350 SXF. Um, so a couple of things you're gonna need for this. You'll probably want a drain pan, something to put your oil in. Um, if you get the kit for an oil change, you get a new crush washer for the drain bolt, and you will also get an oil filter. You're gonna need a thousand milliliters of 10W50 Motor X full synthetic. I like to have something to put a little bit of oil in for lubing the O-rings. You're going to need some sort of uh, brake cleaner, some sort of solvent to clean off your parts, paper towels, a couple tools. You'll probably want a torque wrench, T45 for the bottom drain bolt. You'll need a 13 millimeter and 8 millimeter socket for your torque wrench, some sort of pliers, whether it be needle nose or snap ring for pulling out the oil filter. And then these are just for general disassembly. I like to have a 8 and a 10 millimeter in the T wrench and in the sockets. This is very important. You want to have a special paper towel for when you come away from the bike with the oil funnel. Otherwise, you'll dribble oil all the way across the shop and that's not very fun. All right, so for the first steps, you're going to want your 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter on a ratchet. First thing you're going to want to do is pull out this oil screen. Go ahead and take that out. Oil screen's gonna go ahead and come with it. So this oil looks really good. This is this bike has like one and a half hours on it. This is just the break-in change. Um, it honestly probably could have gone longer looking at the oil, um, but that's okay. Next, you're gonna take your 13 millimeter wrench, plop it on this back here. This is the other drain bolt. Go ahead and pull this out. This one also has a magnet on it, so you can expect to see a little bit of fiber, a little bit of metal build up, especially if it's your first ride. You're gonna need this, and you're gonna come underneath the engine. And you'll come right here. Okay. And this is just like a crankcase drain bolt right here. Go ahead and pull that out. As you see, I mean, that oil is like beautiful. You have the fingies off? Yeah, you gotta clean the fingies. So one thing that I'm going to do beforehand is I'm just going to tip my bike to the right a little bit, which allows the rest of that oil to drain out. And while we're waiting on this, we're going to go ahead and clean these parts and get it ready for reassembly. So what you're going to want to do with these is just kind of spray them off with brake clean. This magnet one, that, those metal shavings are not going to come off with the brake cleaner. So you want to blast the residue off with this, and then you'll have to wipe the shavings off with the top. Definitely don't want to drop it in dirt. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe those shavings off. So like that, nice and clean. Make sure you don't have any dirt particles on the mating surface of the back side of that bolt. We'll take this crush washer and pop that on, just like that. And same thing with these. Just go ahead and spray them off with some brake clean. Grab your towel. Put them on. Okay. And finally, we'll go ahead and clean the screen off. Okay. Put this on. And the cap. You're going to want to come in with a paper towel and just make sure that you get these surfaces nice and clean. Like so. And then to put these back together, it's where you want your little cap full of oil. You're just going to take these and whenever there's an O-ring, you're going to go ahead and dip it in the oil like that. Put this back in here. Throw a little bit of oil on that O-ring as well. There we go. Take your 13 millimeter and just run these in snug. Um, we're going to come back and tighten them up with the torque wrench. Next up, make sure your drain bolt is nice and clean. And that one comes back here. This is the one with the magnet. Make sure you have that crush washer on there. Okay. All right, and then lastly, you're going to take the crankcase drain. A little oil on the O-ring, and you'll take your T45, and just run that in. Okay. 
just snug. And then as far as torque, the drain bolt, you can't really get a torque wrench on there. That one's supposed to be at 20 Newton meters. Beep. Okay, looks really good. These two, these ones are gonna be at 15 Newton meters. So we'll go ahead and grab the torque wrench with the 13 millimeter socket for those. So again, 15 Newton meters on this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw the T45 on for the bottom. Okay. Now we can go ahead and move on to the oil filter. All right, so for the oil filter, you just need your ratchet or T-handle with an eight millimeter socket on there. You're gonna pull out these two bolts. Make sure that you throw the oil pan underneath the bike because this is gonna drain out a little bit of oil. Spin that cover, pop it off. Again, everything looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab your needle nose pliers or snap ring pliers. These can get a little stuck sometimes, but this one was pretty easy. All right, and then something that I like to do, um, I'm not sure that it's totally by the books, but I like to spray a little bit of brake clean in here. Make sure that your bike is tipped so that it allows that stuff to just roll right back out. And then I like to grab a new paper towel and stick it in there. That'll kind of soak that stuff up. Spin it around a little bit. Nice and clean in there. I want to make sure that that mating surface is nice and clean. And then we're going to spray off the Oil filter cap. Go ahead and wipe that off. Get it nice and dry. And then you'll take some of your oil and just go ahead and lube that o ring. Okay, set it up to the side. And we'll take our new filter. I like to just hold it up to this old filter and make sure it's the same size. I like to take your oil and just fill this filter up. Just like that. Make sure you get some oil on that seal surface there. I'm gonna go ahead, throw it back in the engine. Just like that. Make sure it seats in. You'll take your filter cover, throw it back on. And then your two 8mm bolts, and just run these in snug. We'll come back and torque these. These ones are going to be the most important bolts to make sure that you get torqued to spec because they're the easiest to strip out. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the torque wrench with the 8mm on it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so as far as oil filter covers, these guys are going to be at 10 Newton meters. Go ahead and torque those. Okay. At this point, I believe we can throw some oil in the engine. All right, so Motion Pro Funnel, doesn't really matter what you decide to use as long as it has milliliters on it. Take your brake clean and just spray any residual dust and other types of oil out of there. Go ahead and slap it on in this cabinet, let it drain for a little while. At this point, you'll want to take some paper towel, just dry off the inside of the funnel. Slap it on a cabinet. All right, so this bike takes a thousand milliliters of 10W50 Motor X, so we're going to go ahead and fill this to 500. That was really satisfying, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill the first 500 milliliters in here. Go ahead and pull off your fill cap. Throw it on the floor and do our first 500 mils. All right, we'll go ahead and do our second 500 milliliters. Okay. Maybe. 
All right, so now that you've got your one liter into your bike, you can come over here with your funnel, slap it on a nice cabinet, and then we're gonna go ahead, pick up the oil fill cap off the ground, grab your brake clean, clean this off. Okay, make sure this is nice and dry down. Okay, throw a little bit of oil on that O-ring. So that dries and dry out. Make sure that the surface is nice and clean. No dust or dirt on there. Throw it back together. So at this point, engine's full of oil. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is sit the dirt bike up completely straight. We're gonna wanna go ahead and start it and let it run through the engine a little bit. We'll shut it off and let it sit for a minute and then verify that the oil level is correct and then that'll be it. So I like to go ahead and push the start button and the stop button together and let the bike crank for about 10 rotations. Just builds a little bit of oil pressure to the top end and now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start it. So now that we let it run for about 20 seconds, we're gonna let it sit and let some of the oil drain back into the engine and then we're gonna check that cycle. All right, so now that you've let your bike sit for about a minute or two, you wanna see that the oil is at least halfway up that red circle in the sight glass, but not past the top of the red circle. If it is past, you're gonna to wanna to drain a little bit of oil and if it's under halfway, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit. All right, um, so this has been the 2024 KTM 350 SXF uh, oil change. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Hey, stand up, guy, boom, ten toes. Big body pull up in a Range Rover. I can change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. Huh. Running this game in a thing for me.